This recording is a tutorial on how to complete a form. If you need to complete a form, a link will be provided to you ahead of time with form requirements and due dates. Once you click on the link, you will navigate to a landing page. Each landing page may vary depending on the form type. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be looking at the Child Outcomes Assessment Waiver. Within this landing page, you will see the waiver eligibility, some supporting documents, as well as if there is a need to upload documents throughout the form, you will be alerted within the landing page. If you click on one of the clickable links, a new window will populate so you can review the document attached. Go back to the previous window to proceed with completing your form. Additionally, if at any point you need to save and resume, you have that option. You will see a save button at the bottom right hand side of your screen. You can select save. A window will pop up that is requesting your email here. Once you enter your email and select send, a personalized link of the document you've already started will be sent to your email to access and resume later. Any data already entered in the system when you select the save button will be saved and ready for you to resume. Once you're ready to proceed, you will hit next, which will take us to page two. Within this form, it's asking for very specific information that we are requesting you to fill out. As you complete the data fields required, if there is specific information that is needed in a data field, and you enter that information incorrectly, you will be prompted with an arrow message. As you can see here, I only added two digits to the zip code, and it prompted me to fix the error within the zip code field. Once I fix the error and proceed on to the next data field, I can continue on with completing my form. It is important that the person filling out this form enters their email so that they can receive any notifications throughout the review process. If there is a data field that requires a drop down selection, once you select the field, the drop down option will populate. You will proceed to review each of the questions within the form and answer as needed. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go through and enter information within the text box. For some forms, you'll be required to enter initials or a signature. You have two options. You can either draw your initials using your mouse, you can see here on the screen, or you can select type and simply type it in. It is important that you review each of the areas that you are initialing as you complete the form. At this point in the form, it is requesting us to upload files. There are two ways you can upload a file. You can either drag the file from your desktop into the text box, or you can select upload and simply find it within your document and attach. Once you have uploaded all required documents, you will proceed with the next page. At this point, we're asking for a signature. I'm going to select the type option and type in my name for the signature. I have completed the form for the Child Outcomes Assessment Waiver, and I'm ready to submit. Once you submit the form, 
you will be notified that your response has been reported and a copy of your entry has been sent to you. If you need any support with completing any of the forms, please email phlprek at phmc.org and someone from the PHMC team will assist.